Hi there. In this video, I'll walk you through console. It's a spine hub or consolidation of both virtual studio and dashboard where you can edit thousands of images at once and also manage all your projects and users at one place. To log in, enter your email address and password. You can also log in or sign in using Google. Once you're logged in, you need to choose an organization to proceed. Now, you will land on home page. On the top of the home page, you will see three products listed for cataloging, 360 degree view and hotspots. Below that, you will find an upload window where you can upload and edit thousands of images at once as per your own requirements. Then, you can also find developer documentations, guides and articles to help you explore the spine features and products. Now, in the side navigation, we have multiple sections listed. Let's go and explore each one of them one by one, starting with Virtual Studio. Here, you will be able to upload and edit thousands of images at once. Click on the upload button to upload images or folders that you want to edit. Enter the SKU name and press continue. Once the images are uploaded, you will have access to 100 plus interior, exterior and storefront backgrounds. You can choose background of your choice or get a new background customized as per your own requirements. Once you've chosen the background, now let's go to the number plate. You need to choose a logo here that will mask the card number plate. You can upload a new logo from here or delete the existing one from here. You can always enable or disable this feature from here. Under windows, we have two sections, interiors where you can rebuild car interior completely and window tint. Here, you can apply tint on car windows. We have different tint colors ranging from black, gray and green. And you can also choose the intensity of the tint that you want, whether you want it to be light, medium or dark. Now let's go ahead and process this image. On the top right corner, you'll be able to see process button. Click on that to start processing. The AI will automatically process this image in seconds. Now you can see the output is ready. You can also toggle here to see the difference between original image and the output image. You can view this image in projects by going to this button here, view in projects, or you can also upload a new folder or image that you want to edit. Now let's go to the projects. Here you can view and manage all your projects, SKUs and folders at one place. Here you can search for a specific SKU. Click here to create a new folder and here you can filter projects as per date and the users. You can also change the view of projects from list to grid and vice versa. Here you will be able to see all your SKUs. Let's go to the SKU that we recently edited. Once you open any SKU, you will be able to see all the SKU details like SKU ID, number of images edited, background used and the user details on the right. Once you scroll down, you can see before after images, the before input image and the after output image. You can also change the view of the images from here and also filter out exterior, interior and miscellaneous images. To download the images, go to the top. Here, you can select the image type that you want to download, whether you want to download just the processed images or raw or just both raw and processed. So you can go ahead and then click on the download. 